Okay, this video will be for a patch pocket. So you will have your basic rectangle piece with four drill holes on it that will show you where the pocket is going to be placed. This is your actual pocket bag. This one has curved corners. There are different shapes of pockets depending on design. And then you will have a fusing piece. So this is a small rectangle that will fuse the flap of the pocket. So that'll just get placed right at the top flap area. There are little notches to show you how wide that flap is at the top. So place it just above the notch and below the raw edge of the pocket. I've already fused mine, so you can see just on the inside here where my fusing is sitting. Okay, before we can put these two together, I need to prepare my pocket. I will ultimately end up folding in these raw edges a quarter inch and pressing. But in order to do that, I like to get a fold line in there with a basting stitch, so it just acts as a guide. So I'm going to go up to a four and baste just around that curve of my pocket. This top edge, we will go back and serge in just a minute. So baste at a quarter inch. That will be my guide. Now I'm going to go serge that top edge. When we fold back the flap, we don't want to just have a raw edge on the inside of our pocket, so we're going to go ahead and serge that. Okay, so I ran over and went ahead and serged that top edge so it's nice and finished. And now we've got our basting guide. Before we can fold this seam allowance towards the wrong side and press it, we need to clip our corners. We're going to be folding a larger curved area into a smaller curved area, and our fabric will want to begin to tuck and overlap. So in order to avoid that bulk, we're going to take out little triangles of fabric, clip around those corners so that we avoid those overlaps of fabric. So I'm going to take out a little triangle of fabric just like that. And do that every quarter inch all the way around this curve and the other curved corner. So the tip of the little triangle that I'm taking out should be very close to my stitch line, but you don't actually want to cut through that basting stitch line that you have on there. Okay. There we go. So that is clipped on both corners. Now we're ready to fold in our quarter inch seam allowance and press. Okay, so folding in right on that basting stitch that acts as my fold line, I'm going to fold in that quarter inch seam allowance and press it towards the inside of my pocket. I like to start with the straight areas and then come back to the curved corners in a minute. Okay. 
This is where you're establishing the shape of your final pocket. So make sure the curves of those two corners are not jagged at all and that they are the same shape and size from, from one to the other. So you want this pocket to be symmetrical on either side. You don't want those curves to be unequal shapes. Double check your curves from the front to make sure they're even. I can see I have a little point right he right here and right here, so I'm going to go ahead and fix those. Sorry, I'm lying. Oh. Okay, once you are satisfied with the shape of your curves and they're even, then we are going to fold down our flap. So there, like I said, there are notches on either side that shows how thick that flap is. We're gonna fold it towards the inside of our pocket, just like that, right on the notches and press. Okay, there is my finished pressed pocket ready to go get it put on my garment. Okay, we need to stitch down that flap at the top of our pocket so that it doesn't come undone. So we are going to stitch that at three quarters of an inch. Put the top edge of your pocket at that three quarter inch marking on your machine and just stitch a straight stitch across your pocket. Make sure you're back down at a 2.5. That will hold down that flap from the outside should just look like a top stitching line and from the inside it secures that flap down now we're ready to place our pocket on top of our four drill holes so I've got my four drill holes marked here and here I'm going to just cover those up with my pocket so each of those drill holes should sit just inside the corners of your pocket Make sure that all your raw edges are tucked under and pin down your pocket. We will do an edge stitch from corner of the pocket all the way around the curve to the other corner, leaving the top open for your hand. So there's my fully pinned pocket. We will need to reinforce the corners of our pocket. 
Those are the ones that get the most use and tear. As you open and close your pocket and you push on it, those corners are the ones that get the most tension and wear on them. So we need to reinforce those. We're going to do it with a little triangle. So I will show you on the board what that will look like. So this is the basic shape of our pocket. We've got the straight edge at the top with the curved corners down at the bottom. So in order to finish this and reinforce our corners, we're going to start from this inside corner, go out and over, stitch across the top, and then do an edge stitch all the way around to the other side and then get it again across the top and back down to that top stitching line that we did to secure our flap. So make sure that you're starting from where that top stitching is and not from the actual corner of the pocket when you stitch. Okay, so here I am ready to start that triangle. I'm going to start on the right hand side so that when I go down I've got the edge of my fabric on the right hand side of my foot. So go to that right hand corner into where the top stitching line is and we want to put our pocket upside down so that we can work our way up to that top edge. Put my needle down first to make sure that I'm starting at the right point. Back stitch and work your way out about a quarter inch to the top of the pocket. Now I can leave my needle down to pivot and then I'll stitch out to the corner. I want to get as close to that folded edge as I can so I can do an edge stitch, rotate again, and now I'll go around the entire curve of my pocket. all the way to the corner of my pocket. Make sure my needle's down so that I can pivot. Go a quarter inch across the top of my pocket. Again, needle down and then pivot and work your way back down to that top stitching corner and back stitch. So there's our fully stitched pocket. Now the last step is just to remove that basting. I can see where my basting is peeking out here. So remove all those basting stitches and you will be done.
Okay, once those basting stitches are out, you have a complete pocket. You can finish the outside edges of the rectangle with your pinking shears so they don't fray in your notebook.